This is one of the more mentally tough teams that I've ever Coach, that's what Kirby Smart said. I believe Sunday after Georgia's 2024 SEC Championship win over Texas. And uh, that's what I'm going to talk about in today's video. What this team has had to go through in order to get where they are, which is the number two seed and a very favorable schedule in the college football playoff. But when you hear or watch Kirby Smart talk about this team, you can tell this is a special group to him. And, uh, you know, he has said it multiple times. Uh, he continued that thought as well. He said, I've had more physically tough teams and I've had more physically talented teams, but I don't know that I've had more mentally tough teams. They just keep going and going. They never say die. I have a lot of respect for the leaders in that room because of what they've been able to go through. Probably the hardest schedule in history that we've ever had. They've endured it all, endured it all, and they came out on top and they fought their way through. And listen, whether they win a national championship or not this season, which they absolutely could have been saying it all season long, but whether they do or not, I hope Georgia fans, when they think back on this team down the road with 5, 10, 20 years, they remember what this team went through as far as a you know a mentally tough team because that's exactly right it's exactly what they are they're not as good as they were last year they're not as good as they were in 2022 2021 obviously um they're probably better than the 2020 team they're right there with the 2019 team um 2017 and 2018 were better than this group right they were more talented they were more physically gifted that 21 defense was elite and this defense has shown uh that they can be elite at times but at the end of the day, this group came back 28-0. Now, they lost the game. They lost the game. But when they were down 28 to nothing in Tuscaloosa, thought they were going to get run back to Athens. There's not a soul watching this video who thought they could come back. And while they didn't win the game, they did come back, and they took the lead in that game. They have fought through a ton of adversity. Even before that, going to up to Lexington is, is never fun. It, it just seems like it's never easy for this team. They fought through that too, and they almost turned the ball over late in that game that would have given Kentucky an opportunity to win the game with a late field goal. And a lot of kicker, not many kickers have missed against Georgia. Uh, the Auburn kicker did, and I think that uh, Georgia Tech kicker get, did, and Texas did. But before that, I mean, dudes just weren't missing. They fought through adversity in Kentucky, fought their way back against Alabama, lost at the end. I get that, but. Um, they, they've, they've gone through the ringer. They went back on the road in Austin and stepped up and won that game. Going to Oxford, they just they just got beat up. They were a beat up team and they lost the battle in the trenches, you know, in the rain. Tough game and they dropped it, right? But against Tennessee, top 10 opponent, they came through. Against Georgia Tech, one of the craziest, you know, parts of the season. They were down 14 late in that game. And again, like the Alabama game, there's probably no one watching this video who thought they were coming back. I didn't. I was in the press box. I'm thinking, they, they're they about to lose to Georgia Tech unless something wild happens. And guess what? Something wild did happen. Carson Beck led them five touchdowns. And listen, it doesn't look like Carson Beck. I'm going to say this quickly before I go through, but Carson Beck has gone through an incredibly mentally uh, just season, the roller coaster, the up and down, the um, you know, coming into the season as, you know, a Heisman Trophy, you know, early candidate, a guy I didn't know, a guy who could be one of the first quarterbacks taken in the draft. And he did look really good at times this year, but there are also some games where he was not very good at all. And he had the drop passes that has to affect him. Uh, it didn't feel like he trusted the offensive line as much as maybe he did last year. No Bowers, no McConkie. And he fought through. And when he was throwing picks, he came back and fought uh, against Alabama and almost led one of the greatest comebacks in college football history. Um, against Texas, the three interceptions, he made big throws late in that game that led them to victory and, and you know, helped secure the win because they were up. But he made big throws in that game against the Gators, three interceptions, but he also had two touchdowns and big throws in that game. Tennessee, great game. Zero interceptions um, against Georgia Tech. Again, five touchdowns, zero interceptions. But, you know, it, it's it's important to talk about Carson Beck here because he has been mentally tough through all of this. And Georgia fans wanted him benched weeks ago. He has gone through the ringer this season. Um, and he's fought through and he's battled back. And he put them in a position to where they're playing for an SEC championship game. Um, the mentally tough Gunnar Stockton coming in, you know, not skipping a beat, playing his heart out. 
will, determination. That's what this team does. They battle back and they persevere. And you know, Kirby Smart has said that basically throughout the season to us uh, in his press conferences. He goes, you know, we don't may not have the first round guys that we did have. We may not have the most talented team, not only that we've seen in Athens recently, but across the conference, right? Um, but they fight, and now they are in a position where they could absolutely win it all. But you know, they've been banged up too, and they've persevered through that. That's also adversity. And everyone's banged up. I get that every team I feel like has had major, major um, you know, setbacks on the injury front. Um, but guys like Trevor Etienne have fought through that, you know, and it takes mental toughness to get through an injury as well. He's battled back. Um, you know, the guys defensively have done uh, the cornerbacks, Dalen Everett. A lot of people, you know, were really frustrated with his play, and I believe it was warranted. You know, he he hasn't played his best this year, but when it mattered most, especially against Texas, he has stepped up in a big way. Daniel Harris, I think, has overcome some things, and he has stepped up. So, again, this team, they're the never-say-die dogs. They're the cardiac dogs. They are always playing from behind, and Kirby said that as well. You know, when they're when your backs are against the wall, he was talking to this team, I think, in one of the – um, you know, post-game locker room, you know, talks, right? And he's telling them the way y'all bounce back and play through adversity and play with the, your backs against the wall, it is amazing. And this team does have that heart that we've, we've been talking about all year long. And, you know, it, it's weird because sometimes you can get the feel in the crowd of things not going well and when things are. And there are some times where things just look absolutely, just incredibly bleak in Tuscaloosa, in Athens, when Georgia fans were leaving the stadium. There were, I mean, there were droves of Georgia fans leaving the stadium um, when they got down 14, and um, that that's tough. That It was tough to watch from the press box, seeing all these people just, just bounce like that, and I know they were frustrated. They thought they were losing to Tech. I thought they were about to lose to Tech, but the only people who didn't and the only people who thought they could fight their way back into that Alabama game were the people in that locker room, those coaches, those players, Everyone involved in the program, they never quit. They never gave up. And it led to, um, you know, one of the best wins ever against Georgia Tech in, in school history. And it, uh, and again, last weekend, they fought through more adversity. They were down against Texas uh, in the SEC Championship game, a game that not many people thought they would win, right? The experts, most of them picked Texas to win. I felt good about their chances all week. I knew because this team does rise to the occasion. That's what they do. They're not crushing teams, you know, when they win, it's ugly um, a lot of the times, but it, it's all about winning, and that's what this team does. It runs in their DNA. Um, it runs through the program. It's within the walls. It's within each other, and, um, you know, it, it it might sound a little, you know, uh, I'm trying to think of the word, a cheesy, but the skull sessions do matter, right? Every year they find out their why and they get to know each other on a personal level. And it shows up on game day and it shows up when they're down and people are counting them out and their own fans are leaving the stadium um, when there's four minutes left, right? They bounce back, they battle back. And that was another reason why I thought they would beat Texas. Um, how many battles has this team gone through? How many wars has this team gone through? More than anyone in college football, no doubt about that. The toughest schedule in the country. And um, they've been in more crazy, wild games, I feel like, than anyone. Um, the Alabama game and the Georgia Tech game are, without a doubt, two of the wildest, craziest games I've ever covered. And I've covered a lot of big-time games. And that Sugar Bowl was probably up there, too. The end, it was it was a boring first half, and it was kind of a slugfest. But there were big plays, back-and-forth moments. And that fourth quarter and in overtime, it was just Massive play after play, and Georgia fought through it, and they won the game, and they took it. They took what was theirs, and we've seen them do that a lot this year. They definitely have the two losses, but if, if, if Oregon has this schedule, Oregon's got two losses. I don't know if it's the same two losses that Georgia had, but I think Oregon has two losses. They have at least one, at least one, probably two losses, and that's where Georgia's sitting right now. And they're number two um, you know, seed because – of how they fought through. They won the SEC when Greg Sankey didn't even want them to. That was, I'm not sure how many people wanted to see Georgia beat Texas in that game from a national perspective. I think uh, the average college football fan probably doesn't care and is probably thinking, okay, yeah, it would be cool to see Texas, 
in their first year in the conference own those guys, you know, uh, the cocky old SEC, you know, Texas going in and winning it. So I think most people were probably pushing for Texas and maybe they've got Georgia fatigue and don't want Georgia in the same way people have Alabama fatigue, right? So their backs were against the wall a lot of times this year. And again, probably in Atlanta um, against Clemson when it was a tight, tight first half. Um, they fought through adversity then and they, they crushed them in the second half. And then you're thinking, okay, old dogs are back. You know, they just kind of pummeled them. They look good again. That was a strong second half. And they go up to Lexington and they have to hold on. They have to hold on in another ugly, ugly game. And from then on, it was just, it's been a roller coaster. And every game, um, it, it is coming down to the wire. It is very dramatic. A lot of stress going on if you're a Georgia fan out there. But through it all, this team, through their mental toughness, are in a position to where they can win another national championship. It's what makes this team special, Kirby. Smart knows it, and I hope that down the line, Georgia fans, when they remember anything about the 2024 season, whether it's a championship or not, it's how hard this team fought. It is a special group. They are mentally tough, and um, nothing's going to change. They are going to fight until the very end, and it could lead them to holding up another championship trophy. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Stay tuned to the next video and I'll see you over on the website.